Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Fire 4 Red World as America. Let's continue on for the last let's off. So, we're doing a pretty good job right now invading our way through America. We're just kind of sitting still, letting them... I'm invading America, I'm invading Germany. Letting them just kind of throw all their troops at our front lines. Over here in the Middle East, we're making some progress as well. Uh, you could can probably just fight this guy here. Because once what our plan is, is to push our way through uh, Iraq... Get our way to the coastline and eventually use that as a naval invasion point into Italy. So we need to kill Germany, Poland, and Italy. After those three guys are dead, we should basically be good to go. Because those, those are the only three major powers left. France, I don't think it's considered... No, France is now considered a major power. Fantastic. Just uh, what you love to see. You guys are the Red Army. Probably getting shot down by a lot of enemy ships. I mean, it sucks for you, but I'm sure you'll be okay. Don't worry about it too, too much. Uh, it is 2017, so actually we can get our final industry techs here up and running. We'll also have some more reinforcements on their way soon as well. You guys can go to this province. Reinforcements are slowly on their way. Uh, you guys do not need to be there. And yeah, something like that seems fine. Delete these other plants. There we go. Like, you should all be eventually killed, probably by the Chinese, if I had to take a guess. Like, it'd be nice to get somebody else in our faction. Uh, you are also not friendly territory. But I just don't know what the likeliness of that actually is, unfortunately. Because if we can get, like, Yugoslavia or Ukraine or anybody from the former Soviet Union to join our, uh, war, that'd be really, really nice. But, yeah, I just don't think it seems super likely. I mean, it... If you look at these guys, like a lot of them are extremely weak. And I guess your job now, Red Army, is going to be just push your way straight down towards the south, towards like the Yugoslavian border. Like that seems okay. We'll also go for the industry tech here for 2015. And there's Cyprus as well. It's currently owned by Germany. Um, you're owned by the Warsaw Pact. Our reinforcements, they're almost here. And you move, march, march away towards Baghdad. Once you're here, go to the city. You march to here. And once you're there, you're also going to march up. And, like, we should be good. As soon as these guys are dead, of course, we'll be able to move uh, these two armies over. How are you guys doing, by the way? You're doing okay. We're going to send you over to Ireland for the time being. So just make your way over there. Thank you very much. And, like, I'm looking at this. Like, who's the strongest? I mean, Italy and Poland are doing pretty all right. I'm assuming that, like, Germany and stuff really just don't have the, um... The manpower required to really stop us. Like, do you have any information about them? The answer is still no. We know a decent amount about their military. 30%. But aside from that, not too, too much is currently known. You guys are going to keep pushing away up through here. I don't know why these guys are actually so extremely weak. Not that I'm going to complain or anything like that. I'm just uh, a little bit surprised. Yeah, you guys are going to be pushing away towards Kabul. You guys are going to be pushing and steamrolling your way towards Kabul as well. So go and go. I don't know how many troops could possibly be in Afghanistan. 19 to 59. Okay, apparently there could be a lot of troops actually in Afghanistan. There's some free military factions as well, which I think we still need the light tanks. Like, I know we're missing a ton of those. We'll get you guys going. And can I actually plan a naval invasion from one of these ports? I can. So go from here to there if you possibly can do that. Just, just plan for it. You know, we'll see how that goes. And the Red Army has not arrived. A lot of them are looking pretty battered and beaten, but, you know, it, it is what it is. We'll just not worry about it too, too much. And supplies are still looking absolutely A-OK. -okay. Air support is eh, middling on some of the parts of Germany, but for the most part, it looks like it's not too, too bad. Keep making your way through here. We'll capture this entire area. It looks like you guys, yeah, you did get kicked out of, um, of Africa for the most part. I mean, you, you can probably stay there for a while. Where are you going? Why are you going down there? No. Make your way to here, please. Thank you very much. And you guys are all doing absolutely A-OK. -okay. Panama should not be a huge deal, I think.
I mean, there's a lot of enemy forces there. Like, way more than you would actually expect. And I guess you guys have now been re, um, or unconquered. Probably have to conquer you at some point in the future anyway, so... Not worry about that for now. Even at the 7, like, our defense is at 9,000, like, 900. I would say that's pretty good. Also, you guys can make a small gains. You're going to be the only ones attacking right now, so I hope you're okay with that. I mean, the rest of you actually don't have any plans, so I should fix that. Uh, purple army is going to be making their way down towards the French border. I mean, the blue army is essentially going to be doing the exact same thing as well. Just, like, maybe move towards the border with Switzerland. And, of course, you want nothing to do with um, the war. Even though I think you'd help me out a decent amount. Do I want you guys to attack? I mean, all of this is hostile. Like, there is a lot of hostile territory here. Gorbachev, you should join my alliance. You don't want to because you have different ideology. I think it's like just nobody else is, unfortunately, at war. Like, I wish we could bring in the, um, bring China into our faction, but that's not going to happen, uh, unfortunately. And a funeral for Bernie Sanders. The Supreme Leader's coffin traveled via an extremely secure motorcade from Philadelphia to his home, or his first home in Vermont today. But the final stage of internationally televised state funeral was to take place. Long journey, Middle East gathered to weep and pray their respects to the respected, glorious North American leader, who for years has sacrificed everything to keep us safe from reactionary foreign invaders. Each day of his life, the threat of occupation was always terrifyingly present, but Bernie Sanders pulled the entire nation through until it could gain the strength necessary to defend itself. His devotion to public service has made him the most popular American head of state in history, evident by the enormous crowds along each side of the major freeways on which his motorcade traveled. In these dark times, it is now up to the National Pop People's Council to elect the rightful successor to the Supreme Leader, and the people have certainly placed their faith in these few politicians to do the right thing. How many of these do we still have left? 140? Um, I'm guessing I then have to kind of continue on. We're not going to do that quite yet. We're going to actually save our political power. Until we can core the last part of the country, which should give us a massive amount of manpower. Because once we do that, we should be able to do the more North American Union. It's also going to take 70 days. But I think it's going to give us cores over all of Canada and Mexico as well, which to me seems pretty good. Are you guys are I don't know why. Like, why are you so weak? That's what's surprising me here is like how poorly you guys are actually performing in this war. I'm hoping that Italy will then be a pretty easy conquest. And might as well have everybody attack for right now. We'll see if we can get anything good to happen here. I mean, we have actually full air support. Why do you have air support here? I don't know. But full air support seems good to me. Yeah, 2,600. Who's flying? Is it just me? Australia, the UK. We have a, we have a bunch of allies sending their planes here, which I appreciate a great deal. You guys, I still am not going to have attack into Poland. I mean, there are a lot of troops up north, which scares me a little bit for sure. But just imagine, like, if Ukraine were to join the war or Turkey were to join the war on our side. I feel like it would help us out quite a bit. You guys are already falling back. Your plan should still be to push your way here. And after that, I mean, there's actually a lot of guys showing up here. Is it because you lost territory here? No, you just want to make your way towards this front. And you can actually probably maybe push your way through, um, like, maybe push your way through Libya and, uh, everybody else. You know, Ethiopia and Egypt. Will that work? I don't know. It might. It might not. We we'll kind of have to see. I would like more soldiers, though, in Germany, for sure. For sure. I mean, we have the manpower. We don't have the equipment, though. Which is unfortunate. Occupy territories. I want less. Less of the local police force. I really don't care if these guys, re uh, like, rebel against us. I need the equipment for, yeah, 37,000 rifles now. Fantastic. And really, well, I guess what we should be doing is trying to pump out rifles. Probably more so than light tanks. I mean, medium tanks were doing pretty well. Support equipments? 
for 1.7k. So you know what? Let's take 10 off of you. We we'll do something like that. We're not making, we're not making any artillery or APCs. We get 20,000 of those in storage. So I'm not too concerned about it, to be quite honest with you. You guys are still doing fine. I'm going to delete your old plans. You're now all going to go towards this front line. And your job is to be pushing your way into uh, into Egypt here. Yellow, I'm sure yellow can defeat the the rest of this territory here, so don't worry about it too, too much. Now, you guys go here. That's a lot of enemy forces that we've trapped, which is nice. And our invasion at Panama is still going A-OK. -okay. You guys do need an invasion plan, though. To go from me... I mean, where can we send you? Go from Galloway down to Brest. Half of you guys will be on that line. I'm hoping that France and everybody's just sent enough troops off of that front so that we can kind of do what we need to do safely. Okay, I mean, we're, we're making progress for sure. Do we know how many information about the Dutch? No, we don't. We know a little bit about France, but that's about it. I mean, there are a lot of troops here. So you know what? We're going to pause, pause, pause the invasions. For now, if you're if you're winning your battles, keep on winning your battles. But I think, you know, just small little uh, steps to secure our victory are good enough. And we want more guys up towards the north. Let's take back Beirut. We don't want this area to be linked up together. Yemen, like, I, I still really wish Yemen could use their forces for literally anything, but unfortunately that's not going to be the case. Do we have, like, any leaders here? The answer is, like, not really. I mean, sure, like, these German troops are so incredibly weak right now. What are we missing production of? Is it just the carrier fighters? Yeah, I don't care about that too, too much. Let's not worry about that. Rifle is still at 32,000. Is looking nice. And we have full um, naval superiority around this area as well. So once we can actually navally invade. I still need to see. Do have any ships around here that aren't doing anything? We got an extra 20 stack. We have you guys down here. Which we don't actually need you to do anymore. Send you back up to England. It should be good enough for you. Once again, we've kind of cleaned this up. Take both these ports. And we're looking pretty, pretty good. I mean, I'm the one who's done everything, of course. Um, all Brit managed to do was, like, die. We don't need any of you guys up here. You're good just in the south. Same with you, Red Army. Just be down there. Those guys can hold on to their line good enough, I would say. I mean, killing the Dutch would be nice, but just opening up a second front line is going to be very, very valuable. I mean, opening a front line here, front line here, maybe a front line somewhere else would also be uh, nice for us. And do you need to be in northern Germany anymore? The answer is no. We don't need to be up there anymore. 4,000 aircraft is just an absurd number. Like, how do you have fuel for that? Like, I don't see where you'd be getting your oil from. Send you guys up here. Just prepare for a naval invasion. You guys march up here. Try to take over Aleppo. And Purple Army, yes, is now on their way. So all of you guys can now just go up towards the north. You have a fallback line here as well, just for the future. And now... You will... Do we have any research? I do have research upgrades, so let's go with you. And these guys should all be killed. Like, Italy... Do I have, any, do I have an idea? 50 to 131. Everybody has so many goddamn men. It's actually absurd. But we're holding the line. We're holding the line as good as we possibly can, I would say. I 
Let's do a quick scale with these 72 ships. There's nobody over there. Okay, well that helps out my plan pretty well. Naval combat over there, that's fine. Purple army, you can just go for it. Because there's nobody in France. I mean, why not just attack, right? Take over a pretty good foothold for yourself. Let's say, even if we can push our way just up to um, the edge of Brittany here. And you guys are part of Blue Army. You're trying to make your way over here as well. Like, do I have any more troops? I mean, I got the guys in Panama still. But I could use them. I mean, I would like to train more troops as well, but I really don't think that's actually necessarily within the cards at the moment. Okay, now that you guys have landed, all of you are now on this front. Why would you go to that point? You're already in a dock! What's wrong with you? Okay. Of course, your invasion plan is basically, hey, push your way over to here. You'll also do your attack. Going to keep on marching. We'll probably bring a handful of these units back off of our uh, front line over here. Or at least that's kind of the idea. And aside from that, we need it, Naval Superiority in the south as well. But leave all your old orders. You're going to come over to this port. You don't have act. You can't go over here because we actually don't have... We need the Suez Canal, actually, to uh, make this work, unfortunately. You guys are going to attack full speed ahead. All of you are on the fallback line here. Thank you. So, okay, so our plans here are a little bit, uh, have some troubles, at least for right now, until we can actually, uh, bring some units over. But, I mean, maybe once we take over, like, southern France, we can send some more units in. I mean, I guess if we take over southern France. Yeah, things are still looking pretty secure, I would say. I mean, the French army has arrived, but we should be getting another 15 uh, divisions arriving soon. Should be enough for us to actually kind of hold this line. And there are a handful of British units around here as well, which I appreciate. Some units from Germany. So, you know, that means, I think it means, like, all of you guys. Also just attack. But they can't be everywhere, right? They can't be everywhere. After this is done, we're going to make a front line here. Oh. We're going to make a front line here. But you eight are actually going to deploy up into France. Thank you very much. And once you guys have maybe secured the Suez... Our invasion of Italy can commence. How are you guys doing up here, by the way? You're doing okay. I'm actually going to pull you out because I feel like our allies are doing pretty well. So, yellow, yeah, delete all your orders. You're going to fall back into Baghdad for now. And, yeah, just let everybody else kind of deal with this situation, which I'm sure they can deal with on their own. 30,000 rifles and also with 151 political power, we can finally get the last area cord. 50 days, we should be able to finish this all up. We can't do this until that step is done. I guess we'll do a, an emergency meeting. I think our units have arrived to the front. You guys are not going to attack right now. Are you all, by the way, are any of you on aggressive? You're on aggressive. Just be on regular for now. Like, we, we should be okay, I think. If anything, you might even want to be on just, like, um, more limited. I guess we're doing fine out here. It's really southern Germany they're going to be having some problems in. 
But that's not a huge, huge surprise. We can take over you. That would be nice for us. What is this like? That's like the Dutch, I think. I mean, France doesn't have that many divisions, all things considered. Like, compared to everybody else, they really don't have a huge army. Okay, so I mean, these, some of these battles did not go as well as I would have liked. I mean, some of them went pretty well. The ones in Poland have actually been going pretty okay. Are you both Red Army? No, you're an entirely- you're a different army entirely. Your job is basically only going to be pushing your way into the Lowlands. And see if you can get that done for us. I mean, if you can, it would be quite nice. We actually got a surround here as well. How many troops are actually in this little pocket? A, a decent amount. How many men are in this little area? 12 divisions. Quite a lot, I would say. And yellow armies on their way. Afghanistan should not last for too, too long. I actually think you guys, if you do careful attacks, careful attacks into Poland could be okay. Kill Poland. I mean, if we can kind of consolidate any of these fronts, the problem here is that this is a large front for us to have to actually cover. You're doing fantastic. You keep up the good work. Panama has been completely occupied by our forces, so you guys are going to be heading uh, to Europe now. But I do think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching, my name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run thumbs up. Not to click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.